Not sure on how to start a successful Amazon business or all the moving parts that go into a successful Amazon business? Well, at the end of this video, you'll have every single thing that you need to know to go out there and crush it on Amazon. So be sure that you stay tuned. Now for the best Amazon FBA advice, tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I drop brand new videos every single week. One of our newest students was able to scale his brand new product up to $700 per day in less than 60 days from working with our team. So if you'd like to know how you can get involved, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video for a very special announcement. Now, the first thing that you probably should know is what is Amazon FBA? One does really FBA stand for? Well, FBA stands for fulfillment by Amazon. Now selling on Amazon, you know, you have different methods and different things and ways of selling on Amazon. But the one method that I personally utilize is Amazon FBA private label. And what private label is, it's simply, you know, I am manufacturer and I manufacture shirts, right? Um, and you as a seller or someone who is interested in this shirt, you come to me and say, hey, Bashar, I like this shirt. I want you to sell it to me, but I want you to put, or I want you to put my logo on the shirt, on your shirt, right? So me as a manufacturer, I'm gonna produce or I'm gonna manufacture these shirts. They're generic, they don't have any logo on them. And then you as a seller or wholesaler or many, you know, uh, 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 whatever it is that you'd like to call yourself, um, distributor, right? Could be distributor. You come and put your own logo and design on this shirt. And now it is, you know, it is your own. Now you are the only person who can sell it. Now, can I or can someone else, your cousin, your friend, come and buy from me as well and put their logo on it? Of course. But your specific logo, no one can put on it. So... What we are trying to do when selling on Amazon, especially with private label, uh, we're simply finding products that people go to Amazon already to buy, right? So we're not creating brand new products. We're not, you know, inventing brand new products where uh, people don't even know what they are. You know, like it's a brand new demand, brand new niche that doesn't even exist. We're creating a whole brand new category. We're looking for things that people go to Amazon to buy already. And one thing you have to understand is that over 53%, of the world's online shopping happens on Amazon. So just picture that for a quick second, which is every 10 products sold online, and I'm talking about all websites around the world. I'm talking about including Apple, Walmart, Target, every single website, you know, every Shopify store, everything. Online, every 10 products um, that are sold online, five of them are on Amazon, actually 5.3 or whatever, right? Whatever that is. So let's just say five, let's say half, right? So. People already trust Amazon. People already love Amazon. There's Amazon Hub. Amazon has their own delivery service. There's the whole Amazon Prime thing that people just simply love. Now, things are a little bit different right now, of course, and that is understandable, but people still go to Amazon. And if you didn't order from Amazon before this time, you order on Amazon now, right? Because you can't go out of, you know, from your house. You can't leave your house. You're uncomfortable leaving your house. It's unsafe, right? Um, if you ordered from Amazon before, you probably ordered two, three, four times. And in fact, a lot of our students, a big majority of our students and my personal brands as well, have experienced 20, 30, 50% increase. And I've had students uh, experience up to five, 10 X times. So if they used to do 500, now they're making three, four, 5,000 a day in revenue, right? So the, the platform is massive. They have built a, a huge infrastructure and uh, um, you know, being part of it is definitely incredible. Now the winner for last week's giveaway is Mark Kungs. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I butchered it. If you'd like to be our winner for next week's giveaway, go ahead and drop BJKU in the comment section to enter to win my free step-by-step um, -step Amazon FBA guide. So as you may be wondering, of course, one of the most important things in selling on Amazon is picking a product, right? Picking a product, making sure that this product has demand, but most importantly that you can even compete with the current demand, right? A lot of problems happen when beginner sellers start looking around their house. They see this product, they see that thing. I'm a consumer of this product. My sister is a consumer of that product and they automatically think that this product probably has crazy demand on Amazon. And although 80% of the cases, it is true, that product probably has a lot of demand on Amazon, but the issue is, that it probably has a lot of competition. And for you as a brand new seller going into that marketplace, it's just gonna be very tough trying to nail it, right? And the thing that you guys have to understand is that just because I launched the product 
a year ago doesn't mean that you can come in today and launch the same product and become successful and compete with me. I have built an authority in that niche and that market and it's just difficult for a brand new seller to compete with me, right? So that's why you guys really have to understand and know exactly what it is that you're looking for. Now I've got my own product research criteria. You know, you do have to follow a specific criteria. You can't just be, you know, kind of just throwing a bunch of things on the wall and hopefully something sticks, right? You can't go about it that way. You have to have a very specific criteria. Some of my top things is I want to make sure that a, a product makes at least $10,000, seven to $10,000 a month in revenue. I want to make sure that at least top 10 sellers, at least seven of them have below 100 or even 120 reviews. I'm okay now with spending a little bit more and going for products that are a little bit more competitive just because you know I know what I'm doing and I can rank a brand new product at the top of the pages. Most importantly though, you guys have to understand and know is exactly how are you gonna differentiate yourself, right? For me, creating bundles is a very, 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 um, you know, uh, uh, successful thing that I've done in a lot of my products and how I teach my students as well. What a bundle does, it simply helps your customer, it differentiates your product from everything else on the marketplace, as long as the bundle doesn't exist. Now, just because someone else has launched a specific bundle or done a specific, you know, um, uniqueness to the product, doesn't mean if you go and do the same thing, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna do well. You don't want to, you don't want to give the customer, the consumer, a apples to apples comparison, right? And what I mean by that is, you don't want to be exactly copying someone else. Simply because when you go as a brand new seller, you're gonna probably start with little, I mean, no reviews, right? And then in the beginning, you're probably gonna have very little reviews. So someone who's established, like if I were to present you with two products, exactly the same, selling the same product. Same, I mean, obviously different brand, but uh, same product, you know, same uh, 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 price, same everything. One of them has five reviews, one of them has 50 reviews. You're gonna, of course, go for the one that has 50 reviews. So what you wanna do is you want to um, make it where it's a, an apples to oranges comparison. You are so unique that the customer simply can't say, well, this one has five reviews and it's selling for $14.99, and this one has 50 reviews and it's selling for $14.99, right? Completely different products, either by, you know, offering something new like a, um, like a new color, a new size, a bundle, right? One cool feature that Amazon has is under each listing, there's a thing that says frequently bought together. That's something that doesn't show as much now with Amazon with everything that's going on, but usually it does. Um, right under the listing says frequently bought together. So Amazon simply gives you the ways and, and different products that people usually buy. If they buy this thing, they also buy this thing. Awesome, create a bundle if it doesn't exist on the marketplace. Another thing is your supplier. You know, when you go to your supplier, just simply tell them, hey, look, I'm trying to bundle this product. Um, you know, um, I, I wanna create a bundle. Like, what is it that you suggest that I can bundle? What do you, you know, sell also? Give me, send me your catalog. All of your suppliers are gonna, are gonna sell in niches, right? Unless if you're gonna go to a sourcing agent and they can go to a supplier and the suppliers sell in niches. So they will tell you all the different products that they sell and they usually, you know, um, sell in niches. And what you wanna do is you wanna maybe select one main product. It's like going to a restaurant. You've got the, the full entree, right? It's the protein. Let's say you ordered a, a steak dinner, right? You, I like uh, filet mignon, let's say. So I ordered the, the filet and that's the main steak and then there is the uh, asparagus and then there's the mashed potatoes, right? And there's veggies, right? Or salad or whatever. So the, the, um, the way that this restaurant differentiates from the other restaurants I've been to, maybe they offer a brand new, a new way of mashed potatoes, right? Something that isn't offered somewhere else or brand new thing of vegetables, or maybe they don't do any of that. They do soup instead or whatever the case may be, right? But the main course or the main thing is the protein is the steak, right? So the steak remains the same. The different stuff is the bundle that they put together. The steak is the most expensive, right? If they're gonna sell the steak for $40, the steak probably cost them 10. Now they're not gonna throw in another two, three items that are gonna cost them 10 each because it's just not gonna make sense. There's not gonna be profit. So the, part, the other parts of the bundle, you want them to be products like vegetables. Vegetables are gonna cost a dollar, two dollars. So you got $10 in the steak, you got $2 in, in, in broccoli, you got maybe you know a dollar in mashed potatoes and maybe a dollar 50 in a salad, right? All of a sudden now you've got a $15 cost and then you can sell it instead of you selling it for $35 for just the steak, you can sell the steak and all the other, you know, other fixed things for $45, right? So that's kind of the same idea when it comes to creating a bundle and how you really can differentiate yourself and, and stand out in front of the competition. Now, the other thing that comes to, you know, selling on Amazon is, all right, so I got a product. Now, where do I get this product? Going back to the shirt, you know, uh, uh, thing that I talked about earlier, it's like, 
all right, where do you find me as a, as a supplier of this shirt, right? Well, there's a website called alibaba.com. It's no secret. Almost everyone knows about it. Most of you that are watching right now probably have heard about it, seen it, come across it somehow, right? Alibaba, there's Alibaba, there's AliExpress. AliExpress is for drop shipping. I wouldn't worry about that one. Alibaba is where you can find manufacturers. It's like Amazon. People go to Amazon to find people that sell a specific product, right? They know this platform has the things that they're looking for. Same thing with Alibaba. Alibaba is literally people, you know, factories from all around China, most importantly, you know, China. Uh, there are some that are in India, Pakistan, other, you know, other countries, but mainly in China, come together and then they all list their, their goods and their products on Alibaba. So you simply go there, you create a free website, and you simply start uh, looking for the products that you're looking for. Now, some of the most important things when it comes to negotiations and really trying to get the best price possible for the least amount of units, because you don't want to launch a lot of you know you, you don't want to buy one product and buy a thousand units. And that's the thing that many you know beginner sellers fall into is um, the mentality and the mindset that the supplier is making me buy 500 or 1,000 units, I, that means I have to do it. Well, if you're gonna go to your supplier and say, hey, look, I'm a brand new seller, I just started selling on Amazon, they're, of course, they're gonna try to sell you a whole bunch, right? So what you do is you need to present to your supplier uh, as if you are a, a seven-figure seller, you're someone that's been selling, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not fraud or anything, you're just trying to kind of hack their their, you know, their, their kind of mentality or the way they think about you, right? Because if they, if you tell them you're a brand new seller, they're gonna try to take an advantage of you, right? So you wanna show them that, hey, look, I'm in business, and if you give me a good price, long-term, you're gonna make money, right? Because the goal is for you to keep ordering of this product, and if you're gonna launch one product and become successful, you're gonna wanna launch a second, a third, and a fourth, and so on, right? And then also the idea is to build a brand, right? So if you're gonna sell shirts, you wanna stick to selling shirts. If you're gonna sell shoes, you wanna stick to selling shoes. Both not great examples, but I'm just saying, you want to build a brand around your company, you wanna build a brand around your business, and start you know launching and scaling in the same niche because it's just easier to scale that brand uh, and you, especially if you capture the information of these customers that way you can retarget to them you can send them you know uh, uh, um, you can send them uh, uh, you know new releases of new products you can give them discounts and try to generate some type of a um, you know some type of a um, what do you call it some type of I guess uh, a uh, 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 like volume for your new launched products, right? So, so that's where it really comes down to um, is making sure that you present yourself to your suppliers. That hey, look, I'm a seven-figure seller. I've been selling. What I want you to do is I want you to give me, uh, uh, you know, a a quote for 200 units, 500 units, and a thousand units. Of course, as you order more, the price decreases, and then what you want to do is you want to get try to get the price that they quoted you for the 1,000 units, but ordering for at least the amount of units. That way, you can number one launch multiple products, and number two, keep your low, your your kit cost and your risk low, okay? So that's what you wanna start with, and then from there, you just simply start ordering more and more and more. Now, one of the final and most important things is the launch, right? Just because you found a great product, you got a great price, does not mean that, you know, it's, it's going to sell. Does not mean it's gonna be great. Does not mean it's gonna crush it. Because one thing you guys have to understand is, when you first launch a brand new product on Amazon, Amazon is gonna throw you all the way in the back of the searches where you can't even find yourself. Like whatever your main keyword is, you cannot even find yourself in the back of the searches. And you know, you might even freak out in the beginning and try to like find yourself using whatever keyword it is that you're trying to rank for, and you're probably not gonna find yourself, right? So that's very important, the launch, right? Now, one thing that I talk a lot about in my videos is the honeymoon period. This is the first one to two weeks of a listing becoming live on Amazon, right? And that's very important for you to know because Amazon ranks you a lot higher than they would on a regular basis, and here's what I mean. So, for instance, if you are trying to launch a product on Amazon, or if you're selling a product on Amazon, you're ranking on page three, and you wanna to go to page one, right? Maybe on a regular basis, it would take you about five sales per day for about 10 days for you to rank those three pages. During the honeymoon period, it would probably take like two sales per day for maybe three to five days to rank the same amount of ranking. And that's because what Amazon, kind of their mentality and the way they think is, you know what? This is a brand new product. They care about their customer uh, uh, satisfaction and their customer experience. So what they wanna do is they wanna put you in front of their customer as a brand new product and see if the customer is gonna like you. If they're gonna like you, they're gonna start buying your product. 
And then you're simply gonna try and start ranking organically in the searches and start showing up at the top of the pages, which you're gonna just simply start ranking more, generate more sales. The more sales you get, the higher rank, higher rank, more sales you get, more sales you get, more reviews you get, and so on and so forth, and it just snowballs, right? So it's very important for you to know that once your listing becomes live, Couple important things is, number one, you need to get yourself a couple of reviews to launch your product. Number two, you need to launch PPC. There are a few different methods of launching PPC. You have the manual, you have the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the automatic as well. And you also need to make sure that you're doing a giveaway, right? Many people frown upon giveaways, they're crazy. I still utilize giveaway in my business today. I launch two to five brand new products every single month. In my group of students, we launch at least 20 to 50 new products every single month, and we're using giveaways. They still work. Uh, don't worry about what people say, you know, full price buy. If it's discounted, it won't work. It won't count as, as high as rank. That's all a myth. It all it works out just fine. 99 you know, percent off works just fine until this day that I'm recording this video. Now, I really hope that the last few minutes that we've been together have shed some light on your questions and really answered them in a way that you were looking for. Now, I feel like Bashar, this sounds awesome and all, but I really would rather work side by side a mentor who's done this before, who's taught other people and found success and have them simply guide me through the entire process. Well, the first link in the description is to a 25 minute workshop where I break down to you exactly how working with me looks like and also what my programs you know, are all you know about and things like that. Now, it's not a, a a webinar where I pitch your course at the end, but what I do is I prompt you to schedule a one-on-one -on -one calls with me where we jump on a call, answer any questions you may have, and figure out exactly how working together looks like. Be sure to check it out. It's the first link in the description. Once again, guys, be sure I get to you here. If this is your first time, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends who you think might find value in this. But aside from that, until next time, be sure to check out a couple of videos that I've got here for you. I will see you all next time. Have yourselves a great week and take care.